Hey everyone, it's The Gardener Ed, and I'm back with another video on my Aero Garden. So today, we are gonna upplant some of these plants. You see how big my pumpkin has gotten? I started growing these, I think, on May 24th. Correct me if I'm wrong, I did upload a video on it, and they're already this big. So we are now gonna transplant them and put them into some soil. Let's do it. So the first thing that we need will be cups. So I just have some red Solo cups. On these, I'm gonna drill holes on the bottom just so we have some drainage. And then these will tell me exactly what they are. So I have my pumpkins, there's two, and then my chamomile. That's everything that is going out to the garden. So I have my drill, I have my cups, and I'll just do two or three holes. This is what it'll look like. Knock out all of my little plastic shards. And put them all to the side. I do already have my soil in here. So I'll take my cup and just start filling. And this is how I start my garden at the beginning of the year too. Whenever I'm starting all my seeds to transplant outside, I start them just like this, seeds in my aero garden, except for I use the big aero garden. are a little bit more than half full. I'll just take out my pumpkin. I already know it has a decent root system because I tried to move them earlier and it was a struggle. So this is my smaller pumpkin. And you see these roots, like they have beautiful roots. I'll take one of my cups, I'll move over most of the soil and drop in my roots. Make sure they're down to the bottom of the cup. And then I'll grab my soil cup fill it up with more soil and surround my little garden sponge that I use. Now this does get messy. We don't use our dining room very often, so it is dedicated to the cats and my plants. <laughs> This is what it will look like when it is all done. You see the soil is up nice and high. It is even with the top of the grow sponge because we don't want to cause any rot. And I will just drop it in one of the cups that says pumpkin so that whenever I water it, down pear, down baby. So whenever I water it, it's able to be caught in this cup and drain freely in this cup without ruining anything. is already starting to flower. You see those little flowers starting to come? So I definitely need to get it outside sooner than later. I'm just gonna follow the same process, putting the roots all the way down to the bottom and making sure soil is around them. Feeling everything else up with soil. I will probably leave these indoors for maybe the next week or two. I do have some new Vago garden beds that I need to put together. So that's where my pumpkins are going. But their home has not been put together, of course.
This is what it will look like when it is all done. You see the soil is up nice and high. It is even with the top of the grow sponge because we don't want to just yet. I might put it in one of my new beds, but the original thought was to put it by my tomato plants. Um, so I'll check and see how much room I have in there. I'm looking forward to making some chamomile tea and just seeing that, um, seeing if it brings in the pollinators. I should. I did do an unboxing on this Aero Garden maybe a month ago, and I absolutely love it for what I'm using it for. In order to start your seeds, it's just so convenient to use, but it's not my favorite to grow things in. If I'm growing anything, it's gonna be my Aero Garden Harvest. Both of these are the Harvest, but this I think is the Select. It's a higher model. I'm not gonna get my cat off the table, so I'm just gonna let her stay. <laughs> Pear Pear. This is the closest thing she has to being outdoors because she is an indoor kitty. This is where she gets her plant fix from. So back to what I was saying though. In order to start seeds, this harvest um, arrow garden is really good, but I wouldn't use it to grow long term. In. It just it's not as intuitive as my other machines. I have one that sends everything to my phone. The other one at least has a screen and you can set it up and tell it exactly what you're growing and it'll give it the proper amount of light throughout the day. But this one, you can't really do that. The light will turn on and off on its own. It does tell you if it needs to be watered, but it's just like a light that going set to you that says water um, and same with the food. So. Not my favorite, but I'm definitely going to keep using it to do all of my starts. All right, that is my chamomile and my pumpkins left in here. I still have a Mr. Stripey tomato here. Um, I have a Mr. Stripey tomato here. And then these are Brussels sprouts. And all of this is arugula. This will all go into my big garden because I'm going to leave everything inside and just harvest it from here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.